channel welcome to another vlog super exciting vlog today because we've actually got a little tips and tricks video which we haven't done in a while because today I wanted to dedicate it to all about finding your spark or getting your spark back because as we know you girls in like a little healing era working on herself getting back to being her best self there's always going to be bad days there's gonna be times during each day that like negative things come up but this video is all about just like shifting your mindset and filling your day with so much positivity and like goodness and making yourself so happy that like when the bad times come up it doesn't phase you tip number one actually has to do with why we were watching a sunrise this morning what are the things that actually fill up your soul and make you so happy and then be intentional with actually putting it into your daily routine different little things to be excited for that aren't just the weekend but in your daily routine like can you get up a little bit earlier and watch a sunrise like I just did whatever it is these little things that just tend to fall off your routine um, when you're really busy, there's someone watching me. I get so nervous. <laughs> Anywho, it's time to get to the gym. It's getting really busy around here and there's so many people watching me and I'm getting so uncomfortable <laughs> talking to the camera. I'm gonna scull this, drive to the gym. I'll see you guys there. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mack truck. Country heart, I'm a cop a farm and go act up. Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up. Keep it real, I do this once a month. I don't rap much. I just take the money and go stack up. Only buying car heart, car car to get tatted up. All that other bull, it don't matter much. You only climb. Hello guys, so I'm back home, had a shower, needed to after that workout, that workout was so incredibly rough. So had a shower, changed clothes, put a little bit of makeup on, um, and now I want to show you what I got because as you would have seen on the way home, made a little pit stop, which actually brings me into my next tip for you guys, which is all about investing money and time into your overall wellness and health. There is something about actually putting money and your time into looking after yourself properly that just subconsciously increases the value of how you see yourself. This doesn't have to be super expensive. It's gonna be different for everybody. It could be as simple as like just starting to stick to a better nighttime routine, getting enough sleep, increasing, like making the food choices that you make healthier, increasing how much water you have, just little things that just like take care of your overall health and show you like as a physical action that you are putting effort into yourself because you are deserving to be the best version of yourself. You should have seen me today walking into that Whole Foods health store. Like honestly, I could not wipe the smile off my face. I had this giddy little laugh going on. I was so happy to be there because it just, it just felt so good. It felt like Christmas. It felt like I was doing something nice for myself and that's what we're looking for. <laughs> Let's get into what I got. First off the bat, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I think it's bentonol clay is how you say it. This stuff, if you have sensitive skin, if you have eczema, anything like that, this stuff is so, so good. My mom got me onto this and honestly, anytime I break out in like a rash or anything, put some of this on it and honestly, it's gone overnight. And then next up, I bought a whole load of dried fruit because I actually wanna make a muesli bar slice after we do this little haul. We got some mulberries, dried blueberries, almond meal, <laughs> the OGs will remember this. So, when you go to the health food store, right, you can buy these things that are dried bananas and they look 
atrocious. Like I'm going to pull this out in a second and you're going to be like, what is that? Like it looks so gross, but honestly, these things are so, so freaking good. It tastes like caramel. If you're like me and you're a caramel person, this stuff cravings gone, but you got to get past the appearance first. That's what they look like. <laughs> they, don't judge it. Just try it before you judge it. So we're going to cut them up and put them in and it'll be like a nice little like caramel twist. Some chocolate coated strawberries. Lucky last. I got some um, bee pollen. If you know, you know, to my girlies, um, I'll keep you posted on how that goes. Anyway, let's get into making this nice little slice. The city is on it, so why do we keep coming round? Too many ghosts in this town. Don't know what I wanted, but I thought I might find out, chasing the spirits down Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide You let me spinning around in my mind I got no signal, you never replied And I can't get no sleep I keep telling my time myself a ghost story You got me lying awake in my bed You still haunt me And I can't break free What you do to me Got me panic and I can't get no And my lucky last tip that I have for you guys before I wrap up today's video is to find something to pour your energy into that has to do with challenging you or forcing you to grow. So you guys would have seen that I have done a lot of challenges, right? Like I've done your traditional stuff, like I've done 75 hard, currently training for high rocks, which is an exciting little announcement. Um, but I've also like made up my own challenges here and there. So I've done like my project comebacks. I'm doing my six week challenge at the moment, taking your spare time and putting it into yourself and into something that's going to grow you as a person. Honestly, there's no better feeling. And at the moment, like I said, practicing for high rocks. And if you guys know anything about it, you know that it is a super, super challenging fitness <laughs> contest that I'm going into. And just even the training itself has forced me to push so far outside my comfort zone to a point that like I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for having a challenge that I was trying to achieve. And the feeling of pride that you get from that and being able to sit back and like see your progress and watch yourself grow is so, so damn rewarding. So of course that had to be my lucky last tip today. But anyway, that is it for today's video. It's time to wrap up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you got something out of it. Um, I feel like none of the tips that I had were like super ground shaking new information, but just things that you tend to forget and things that tend to fall off when you do get busy. So I hope today was a good little reminder for you guys of just like things that you can be incorporating to get your spark back. As always, if you did like it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Oh, and I hope you guys love the muesli bar slice because honestly, it's one of my favorite. Um, <laughs> I'm getting tired and getting derailed. But I hope you're having a beautiful morning or night. Whenever you're watching this, I look forward to seeing you in the next video really, really soon. Bye, guys. Love you lots.